It's Lego Day here at the church, and this is a form of unschooling where you teach biblical principles along with some engineering to children while they use Legos. It is a really, really neat program, and today they are building Moses' basket. They've had the Bible study, and so they understand that Moses' life was threatened as an infant, so his mother put him in a basket, covered it with pitch, and sent it down the river, trusting in God. And uh, through God's provision, it landed right in the hands of one of Pharaoh's daughters. She desired to uh, take care of this child, look for a handmaid, and that handmaid ended up being Moses' mother. This is God's provision in all of this, and this is what we see in today's devotional. The text is Exodus 2, 6. And when she had opened it, she saw the child and beheld the babe wept. And she had compassion on him and said, this is one of the Hebrew children. And she named him Moses because he was drawn out of the water. We'll take a look at uh, what Moses' name means. And she raised him up. And interesting enough, raised in Pharaoh's house that he might come back and he might deliver God's people. When you take a look at the devotional text, you're going to see that God does amazing things with Moses. We see um, uh, through the plagues, through the Red Sea, through the Ten Commandments, but, but not only that, Moses wrote songs. We see that Rose, Moses wrote the first five books. He is an incredibly important person, and God is involved in his life, in his infancy. This is the provision of God. This is what the children are learning about today even with the Legos, this is something that I think we continue to learn in our lives is that God will take care of us. But we see that Moses' mother trusted God and we need to trust God. If there's ever a time that we need faith, it's right now. So uh, pray for these children and uh, pray for the world that we're living in that we might navigate it much like Moses' mother. Have faith. God bless.